When you're looking at leases, one of the things that really stands out is the income growth potential. And that's determined by the annual increases in the lease. Normally the annual increases can take different forms. So you can have CPI annually, or you can have a fixed percentage, maybe three or 4% annually. Sometimes the rent goes on hold. During COVID, we had a lot of properties that did that. That means that the income flow is still there if the rent's being paid, but the growth in the flow ceases at that point if there's no annual increase. Think of inflation like a rubber boat. When the economy is up and things are boosted, normally inflation is higher, the rubber boat's higher. When the economy is down, the rubber boat is down. So the inflatable boat, the inflation as such, is the thing that goes up and down with the economy and the amount of flow. When you have something like traffic flow, you also have people coming and going to do things. Normally they're buying things, not just at a service station. They might be going to the shops, they're getting Christmas presents. All of these things increases the flow, just like a flow through this river. The higher the flow, the more damage it does. Potentially, if you look at the erosion here, it's just like the erosion that happens in an economy where the flow is intense. It eats away at certain parts of the infrastructure of the economy itself. And what I mean by that is if you look at the amount of inflation that we have at the moment, which is next to zero, everything's still, it's stable but we can already sense where we're going to from here. Things are getting busier, a lot busier. And as that flow increases, the amount of damage that happens to the infrastructure, so to speak, of the economy also increases. So now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that erosion, that damage in the economy. When the flow's higher and the water's pumping through, how does that affect the parts of the economy that get damaged? Clear example the cash rate needs to go up. Why? Governments want to pull back on the reins of spending by increasing interest rates, credit cards, all of the things that you have, home loans, business loans, they all go up to construct a basically a little dam to bring back the amount of flow, to slow down the inflation and the damage. If that doesn't happen, what can happen is as interest rates go up with the cash rate, people's home loans go up people have to put rents up on their tenants. Everything goes up and that's where things start to get out of balance. Because if people don't have regulated and monitored and eased cash flow in the economy, it can actually impact on different aspects of their personal lives and their businesses.